You hear that? That is a perfect A flat. <laughs> I've never heard an A flat triangle up close before. You want to hear it again? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let wait, me. Wait, wait. I've been working on something special. I call it isosceles in blue. Oh, Do you want to hear it? Oh, I am ready. <laughs> hey, Annie, are you ready to start the show? Oh, yeah, I didn't realize you had company. Hi, Matt. Uh, this is my friend Telly from Sesame Street. Hey, Telly. Hi, hi, hi Matt. Uh, Annie and I go way back. We're both members of the Triangle Appreciation Society. Triangle, 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 triangles. We love you. <laughs> really more of a circle guy myself. Oh. Well, I I just picked up this new microscope and it lets you look at things really closely and see all sorts of shapes. New shapes? Uh, can I? Uh, uh, do you, you want to join I... us, Telly? Does a triangle have three sides? Of course I'd like to join you. Excellent. In this week's episode of Five Facts, we're exploring the hidden world and everyday objects. Episode? Whoa, 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 we're we're going to be on television? Well, it's not exactly television. It's more like YouTube. YouTube? You know the kind of stuff they have on YouTube? Is, is he okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What are we gonna look at first, Mike and Annie? It, it's, uh, it's Matt. Ooh. Well, uh, there's few things more common than sand. You can find it on the playground, at the beach, maybe even your own backyard. Hey, Mac, be careful with that stuff. The last time Baby Bear and I went to the beach, it took days to shake all that sand out of my fur. I bet. Don't worry, we're just gonna take a closer look. Why don't you look at the sand through this magnifying glass? Okay. Yep, that's definitely sand. You can see every grain under the magnifying glass. There must be thousands in there. Wait till you see it under the mega microscope. Microscope, 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 microscope. Why don't you take a closer look in the eyepiece? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Where'd all those shapes come from? They don't look anything like sand. Sand is made up of tiny shells, eroded crystals, and colorful coral fragments. You can't see them with just your eyes, but under the powerful microscope, there's a whole world to investigate. Hey, Mark, I'll bet your fuzzy chin would look like a real beard under this thing. Consider chalk. It seems pretty unremarkable, right? It's white and chalky, and uh, it's got little holes in it under the magnifying glass. Let's investigate further. Under the mega microscope. 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 Wow! What are all those little shells doing in there? Well, they're not actually shells. They're minerals left behind by ancient algae. Algae? Algae are single-celled organisms that live in the sea. 90 million years ago, these algae left layers and layers of calcite behind. Today we turn this into chalk for blackboards and sidewalk doodles. Annie, you're doodling away 90 million years worth of chalk! But it's totally worth it, right? But, 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 but. Oh, but, uh, Telly, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I got you covered. Ah! Well, what do you use that giant chalk for? Oh, this is for when Snuffy and I play hopscotch together. <laughs> Kelly, did you ever wonder how Velcro sticks together? I've actually thought a lot about this, and I have a hypothesis. Really? You know how when you haven't seen your family or friends for a really long time, and the first thing you want to do is hug them and never let go? Yeah, well that's how Velcro works. The soft side and the rough side are in the same family, and families have to stick together. <laughs> well, sort of. Why don't we take a closer look? in the mega microscope. Microscope, microscope. You hear that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of weird. Go on, Telly, take a look. Hey, 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 check out those huge hooks. Yeah, that's the rough side of the Velcro. On the soft side, you have loops. And when you push them together, the hooks catch the loops and they stick together. Yeah, 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 that's what I said. They hug in a grasping sort of way. Sounds like my family. All this science is making my tummy rumble. If our investigation has taught us one thing, it's to always have a snack on hand. You know, 
Strawberries are pretty weird when you look at them up close. Wow, strawberries have hair. Can we look at a strawberry under the mega microscope? Microscope. Hey, Microscope. it worked. Wait, we're still on our snack break. We haven't even started in on the kale chips yet. Oh, wow. Strawberries are much hairier than I ever imagined. Look at all that hair. It's like a fur coat. Uh, Kelly, I think that's your hand. <laughs> okay. Wow, it really is hairy. And I can see all the seeds up close. Oh, why does a fruit need hair? Well, actually, strawberries are not really considered fruit. They're more like a collection of fruits. Each seed is a fruit of its own. What about all those little hairs? Well, some scientists believe that fruit evolved hairs to prevent other animals from eating them. I don't think anything would convince me not to eat strawberries. They're delicious. Last call for kale. Oh, missed it. And for our fifth investigation, we're go Oh, uh, where's sample number five? Mm, I don't know. I thought we had five things here. What are we going to look at next? It could be anything, really. What kind of common things do we have lying around here? Ooh, what about lint? That's pretty common. Lint! I'd offer you some, but I vacuumed my fur just this morning. Yeah, I already lint rolled my coat. Mm. Hey, Matt, what about your belly button? Uh, no, no, I, uh, no, I don't think there would be... Come on, there. Mort, it's for science! It's, it's Matt, and I'll, I'll check. Dude, wow, that is the biggest ball of lint I've ever seen. How big is your belly button? I'd really rather not talk about it. Hmm, it doesn't look much different under the magnifying glass. Okay, let's take a look under the mega microscope. I said mega microscope. Come on, why doesn't it work for me? You know I edit the show, right? Wow. Look at all these different shapes and colors! Those are all the tiny bits of dust and fiber from your clothes. As cotton and wool break down, it collects in places like a dryer trap or... Or, in your case, that cavernous hole you call a belly button. Thanks for watching Five Facts! And a very special thanks to Telly from Sesame Street. If you want to find out more things that families can investigate together at home, check out sesamestreet.org slash stem. This was fun! Thanks for having me on the show, Annie and Matt. It's actually... Oh. Oh, you got my name right. I'm sorry, who are you again? We'll see you next week. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We have such a blast every time our friends from Sesame Street come to visit. And if you're new to the show and you liked what you saw. And of course you did because hello. Duh. Subscribe because we put out a new fun video every single week. Every week. We work for you. That's right. And you should leave a comment with what you want from the set. You can take anything you want, and we will mail it to no, you. No, no, we, we, we don't have the budget anything. to mail things from the set. I'm sorry. No, disregard that. Oh. Well, um, do you want to go get kale chips with me? No. Okay, let's go get kale chips.